In November, longtime environmentalist and former MTSU faculty member Bertha Kritzberg was recognized for her many achievements and contributions to MTSU and the Murfreesboro area. Kritzberg was a key player in paving the way for the Stones River Greenway project, a cause that is very near and dear to her. Well, the Greenway being put in was just a tremendous uh, plus for me, I think, and I really appreciated it and was glad that we had the federal money that could go into it and, and, and build a greenway down the river. And also the connector to the battlefield, and I think that's also important so that uh, they connect a path to the uh, a greenway over to the battlefield. And I think it has meant a lot to a lot of people that have been able to hike that never, a uh, walk that never walked before. I mean, some people just go there for a morning walk or some people go with a son or daughter or something else and, and walk on the Greenway for the afternoon. So it's been used a great deal. It's, and I've heard people say that it's one of the best things we've ever had in Murfreesboro, something everybody can do. Kritzberg was honored at the 410 Overhaul Street Trailhead with a presentation that included a plaque, a natural limestone bench, and a Sherman oak tree, which happens to be her favorite. Kritzberg not only has been an influential teacher inside the classroom, but she has also greatly impacted the lives of all those around her. I was pushing the outdoor recreation because that was my field and that was where I uh, stood. And I wrote up many courses and established the outdoor recreation major. And then I wrote up all the courses at that time that were required. I'm sure others have been added since then, but, but I, I wrote up all the original courses in the, in the major and established the major. But, uh... Many friends, associates, and city officials were on hand at the event to share their comments about the woman who has not only taught, but inspired them as well. Bertha has been instrumental in a lot of things that make Murfreesboro a better place. She's protected our green space, our bike trails in her own quiet way. She came here and earned a master's in education. She was a faculty member at MTSU. I'd also personally like to thank Bertha for, for everything that she has done to make this Greenway possible. Sometimes you need to just take action, a power of one again. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that, that you can accomplish a great deal by noticing things that need to be done and speaking up when you see them. The Friends of Stones River Greenway, along with Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation, hosted the fun-filled event, celebrating Kritzberg's impact on her students, Murfreesboro, and the environment as a whole. The 410 Overall Street Trailhead is located inside Old Fort Park and is used by an average of several thousand people every week. Because of this, even those who have not been fortunate enough to learn from Kritzberg herself are being touched by this phenomenal woman. In 1909, the Tennessee legislature passed the General Education Bill, which earmarked 13% of the state's education budget, quote, for the establishment and maintenance of normal schools solely for the education and professional training of teachers. Nearly two years later, on September 11th, 1911, Middle Tennessee Normal School began offering teacher preparation known at the time as the Normal Course. From its beginning, there were critics of the two-year Normal School movement, and in 1925, the school was renamed Middle Tennessee State Teachers College to reflect the new four-year curriculum. In 1930, the school was renamed State Teachers College Murfreesboro and growing concern over reputation relative to other colleges in the region led to another name change in 1943. 
The name teacher was dropped and the institution became Middle Tennessee State College. That name was changed again to Middle Tennessee State University in 1965. But the university's roots in teacher education are still evident. Thousands of professional teachers have graduated from the university and many of the teachers in classrooms across the state hold degrees from MTSU. What do country singer Charlie Daniels, banker Lee Moss, business mogul CM Bill Gatton, and developer Stephen Smith have in common? All of them have been recipients of the prestigious Jennings A. Jones Champion of Free Enterprise Award. The annual award is presented at MTSU's Economic Outlook Conference. It's named for Jennings A. Jones, businessman and entrepreneur whose influence reached far and wide during his 92 years. The award recognizes a person who exemplifies the ideals of free enterprise through entrepreneurship and involvement in both government and civic affairs. This year's recipient, Stephen Smith, or Mr. Blue Raider Baseball, as he might be called, fits the award criteria like a catcher's mitt. Smith is chairman of the board of Harry and Smith Contractors, one of Nashville's oldest and most respected development and home building companies. He is a practitioner of hard work, fair play, and generosity. He gives unselfishly of his time, money, and energy. And he's a big believer in the power of education. Well, if you're a business person, your return on investment, ROI, is, is really a, should be a big part of your plan. And I think your return on the money you invest at MTSU is superior to any other place that I've invested in the past. I think you can change more young people's lives uh, per dollar at the MTSU than any place I've looked. Okay. And that's what makes it a good investment. What makes Americans uniquely American is that we give back and we feel some debt to uh, an unknown reason for our, our good fortune. So um, I, I've, it makes me feel so good to be able to help somebody else. So it's a, uh, you do it because it's fun, and you do it because you see results. That's why I've enjoyed giving to MTSU, because I've seen results. Someone else who sees the positive results of Smith's generosity is MTSU Athletic Director Chris Massaro. He says, I don't think everyone knows what an astute businessman Steve Smith is. He's a terrific benefactor of the university, and his business knowledge is really sound. I can't think of anyone more deserving of this award. Smith's performance as a Blue Raider baseball player and as a supporter of the program is legendary. At MTSU, he earned three varsity letters in baseball and played on the team that won the 1976 Ohio Valley Conference Championship. He provided the funds to build the Stephen B. Smith Baseball Clubhouse and indoor training facility. In addition, Steve led the effort to raise more than $5 million to build a new baseball stadium, which is named after his father, Reese L. Smith, Jr. MTSU baseball was the venue where I earned um, self-confidence. And not everything, in athletics it doesn't always work that you work like heck and, and it works out. But in my case, it was a fairy tale type thing. I worked like heck and got six pieces of good luck and um, found the pot of gold in the rainbow. So <clears throat> my baseball experience was storybook, and I wanted to give back so that some other little boy can have a, have a similar experience. I'll never be able to repay uh, MTSU and specifically athletics, um, for the self-confidence that I gained by participating there. And um, one of my best friends is my coach, John Stanford, and he was here today. And I've, I've just, um, it's easy to help someplace that's meant so much to me. So I'm, I'm just sorry I hadn't given them more and uh, look forward to giving them a lot more uh, in the coming years. Baseball head coach Steve Peterson said of Smith, 
If there is anybody who has been bred into the business world and knows success and failure, Steve Smith is that person. He struggled on the baseball field and bounced back and became a champion. And he did the same thing in the business world. The MTSU Economic Outlook Conference is sponsored by the Jennings A. Jones College of Business, the Jones Chair of Excellence in Free Enterprise, the Business and Economic Research Center, and the Weatherford Chair of Finance. Thank you.